Don't forget the doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a pleasure and an opportunity of life at this time to present from Los Angeles, California, Mr. John Keller. Hey, John, how you doing, man? I'm doing fine, Dr. Wright. How are you? Man, you calling in from the Grammys, huh? Yeah, I'm calling in from L.A. I'm glad to be here, man. The temperature's about 75 degrees. When I left Boston, oh. Thursday, it was like 22 degrees in snow, so I'm enjoying this weather a lot. Hurt me, baby. 75 degrees in Los That's Angeles. Right. Our stretch limos, right. millionaires, Beverly Hills, and the Grammys tonight, huh? Yeah, the Grammys Awards are, are going on, and, and I'm telling you, this town is buzzing. Is it buzzing? You know, I, huh? Oh, you just keep going. The town is buzzing, huh? Yeah, yeah, the town is buzzing. You know, I, as I mentioned a couple of months ago, the late Gerald LaVert's In My Songs track is nominated and is, a, and is in a strong position to earn him his first Grammy, and I hope that really happens tonight. Okay. But there were some great events occurring this week in L.A. I attended the Urban Network magazine's 20th anniversary party Thursday night, and the heads of that magazine, Miller London and David Mitchell, pulled out all stops with performances by recording artists, Lena and Steve Russell of the group Troop. You remember Troop, Dr. Wright? Oh, yes, I remember Troop, man. Yeah, man, they were yeah. jamming, man. That's right. Also in attendance at that party were hit, R&B hitmakers Gamble and Huff. Oh. And George, yeah, Gamble and Huff were there, and George Daniels of Chicago's famous George's Music Room record store. Oh, man, hurt me, John Kellogg. Light yeah. us up, man. 75 degrees, Los Angeles. The Grammys tonight, stretch limos, millionaires, Beverly Hills, you guys in the swimming pool. And I'm up here in upstate New York, freezing, baby. <laughs> Oh, I'm man, hey, hurt me, hey, Dr. Wright, I'm headed right back to the snow myself tomorrow, so <laughs> okay, you come I know I've got to get ready for it. You know, Aretha Franklin was also on it as the Music Cares Person of the Year. Oh, that is great. Yeah, that was Friday, I think. Uh -huh. But there's also two music business stories of interest I want to report on involving this year's Grammy Award. Okay, lay this on us, John Kellogg. All right, the first is the miracle that the award show is going to happen at all. As many of you know, there's a Screenwriters Guild strike that is affecting the production of many TV shows and movies. The Guild had threatened to picket the Grammys until a deal was worked out just a couple of weeks ago allowing the award show to go on. If they had picketed the show, most of the recording stars scheduled to attend, present, and or perform wouldn't have crossed the picket line and there would have been no show. But at the last minute, the Screenwriters Guild agreed not to picket and allow their member writers to participate in the show. Now, the second story deals with the effects the Grammys will have on record sales of the winning artists and artists that perform on the show. I know if Gerald wins, I certainly hope that the increased sales of his In My Songs album will be enough to push it past the 500,000 sales mark, making it a gold album. However, sales of albums have been particularly weak since the beginning of the year. This week's number one album, Alicia Keys, As I Am, has only sold 61,000 copies last Holy. week. Last week, only 61,000 copies. Oh. That's, one of, that's a low number, isn't it? That is a low number for a fine system, and Alicia Keys. Have you seen I, Alicia? And look, when you see Alicia tonight at the Grammys, tell her Dr. Rick right back in Syracuse is <laughs> looking for her, man, all right? All right. Just you know, they, they say that's one of the lowest number one tallies in recent memory. So everyone in the industry is hoping that this year's 50th annual Grammy Awards show will be the catalyst to boost record sales to a new level. And I hope that's what's happening. So that's it for this week. Dr. Wright, look, uh, I'm here with the biz. Glad to be here. Reminding you, every time the music gets played, somebody gets paid. And if you're a songwriter, artist, producer, you should get paid and not played. All right, you should get Paid and not played. Hey, John, stay yeah. on the line. I got another attorney in the studios right now that I love for you to meet. Great. And uh, you stay on the line now. John Kellogg coming in from Los Angeles, California. The red carpet, the Kodak Theater, I believe, where it's going to be happening tonight. Stretch limos, millionaires, money, 75 degrees. The Grammys tonight. John Kellogg, dynamite. He's the associate dean. Berkeley School of Music, Boston, Massachusetts, a graduate of Syracuse University, and he was on a dynamite group years ago, baby, called the New Decade.
The network reminds you that you too may call in to Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315-428-1069. Don't forget the doc.